I'm Dr. Eric Patrick, lead pastor of Harvest Ministries, a local church coming to North Little Elm in 2023. I'm excited to share all that God has been doing over the past few months with you. Back in May, um, we received a call from a local builder about a home that was available. But we have been searching for months on end for a place that we could call home, especially in the area that we want to serve in our community. And so when we received that call, after putting a prayer on our bathroom mirror for God to make history, a builder told us that they had a home available and we could move in in the next 30 days. We closed in June and moved in shortly after. From that, we immediately began to develop relationships with our neighbors, meeting people and just becoming friends with them. And in August, our girls started school in the local neighborhood and they're so excited as they've been meeting new friends and even being able to pray for their meal at lunchtime. It's just been a beautiful thing to see. As we continue to go forward, um, we were partnering with the state denomination. Our ascending church, Rock Point Church, was already behind us. The local network in Denton Baptist Association was already behind us. And so we completed an assessment with the Southern Baptist of Texas Convention, and they gave us the green light that we are ready to plant a church. We're so excited to have support from not only organizations and networks and churches, but also from people just like you. We've seen that happen as we started a Bible study in our home in the month of September and seen numerous families come and being fed the word from the gospel of Mark. Even my wife has been pouring into their children as they have a lesson and also are able to play games to reinforce that lesson in memory verses. I'm excited to share with you an opportunity and a door that we know that only God could open. Back in March, my wife and I went to a luncheon hosted by the Little Elm Chamber of Commerce. We saw a gentleman there and he so happened to be a teacher at a local high school in North Little Elm called Braswell High School. I told him I was a pastor and he invited me to a Bible study that him, some of the other teachers and administrators were participating in. And I've been going ever since. From that, we've developed relationships. We've gotten deeper into God's word in our spiritual walks, but I've also gotten to learn the needs and wants of the immediate community through the teachers and the students. I even found out that there was a food pantry in the school that my wife and I could serve in. So I reached out to the volunteer coordinator. When I told her that we want to serve, she was grateful. But when I told her that we were gonna be planting a church in this immediate area, she said, you don't understand. This is an answered prayer. We're so excited to see what's to come, especially next month in the month of November. We're doing a, a harvest festival, which is similar to a fall festival, the first weekend, where we're gonna have games, inflatables, we're gonna have food and fellowship, and we'll be able to share the good news of Jesus Christ, especially for those that don't know him. And so while all this is going on, we're just praying for more partners that can come alongside us in this journey. Our first request is that you just pray for us, pray with us and for us. We have a monthly call on the first Thursday of every month. We'd love for you to join in prayer with us. We also ask that you pray about coming alongside us as a laborer because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. For those, for the resources that you might have available to you, whether you are good in marketing or communications or you have musical talent, whatever that skill may be, there's none too big or too small. And we're excited to have you join us in this journey. And lastly, financially, if, if the Lord is calling you to support us in that way through monthly giving or a one-time gift, we are so thankful for that as well. There are so many ways that you can support us in this, and we just pray that you pray about how the Lord wants to lead you in that. Now, before I go, I want to share something with you here. And it's going to come from Book of John, and we're in chapter one. This is verses 35 to 37, and it reads like this. Again, the next day, John was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. That's all that we're about, is pointing people to Jesus. Harvest Ministries is not just a noun. It's not Harvest Ministries in a name in itself, but it's a verb. How do we help others to harvest a ministry where they are so they can point more people to Jesus? If you'd like more information about what we're doing and how you can come and be a partner with us, please visit our website at harvestministries.org. It has all the information that you need to follow us on social media, see how you can join our team or support us in whatever way the Lord is leading you to do. We're so grateful for you and we just want to just pray for you and your family. So feel free to email us as well at info at harvestministries.org and let us know how we can be also be praying for you. I can't wait to see what God has in store over the next 30 days and we'll be talking to you soon. Bless you.